So I'm going to today show you guys the building generator in S2, the S2 engine. So I have loaded in a pretty much a blank scene. There's really nothing here except for a sky and a, and a flat terrain I made. Um, you're going to go over to plugins. You have to buy the, the uh, building generator. But and by the way, S2 makes this ocean sound whether you have an ocean or not. I don't, you can't turn it off. So so that's what if you're hearing this this noise, that's what it is. Anyway, I'm going to go to plugins, building generator. And that's going to load in a default building. Um, I'm going to go to a new building. So right here is your three buttons. These are your configuration. Uh, this is your uh, building, and this is your walls and stuff. And then save is over here. Now that's not export. That's just save. So we're going to do a we're going to do a building name. And I'm going to now. By the way, wherever you wherever wherever you click in, that's where it's going to save it. So I'm going to go to Buildings under Easy Game Sample. I'm going to go to Buildings, and I'm going to call this, let's say, uh, New Bakery. New Bakery. And we'll do a bakery. All right, because there's one called a bakery. All right. Now I'm going to choose a preset, and I'm going to choose the bakery preset. It's called USA Building 19, something like that. And this one right here all right so I tried to do another one and it actually wouldn't give me more floors I've actually already created this one with a balcony in the back um, and but I'll show you some of the things you'll notice the shininess and all that that's the PBR textures all right don't click on new material it'll crash it okay so just leave it alone that's your atlas leave that alone all right so you can go here and you can go like number of floors four and if I choose more floors, it'll just keep adding floors all the way up to like 10. And then you can see I have this massive high rise. All right, but I'm going to bring it back to a more manageable, uh, let's say six, six floors. There you go. Um, Q and E, uh, you know, Q &E up and down, WASD works. And then of course your middle mouse uh, button slash wheel uh, zooms in and out. And right mouse button rotates. Okay. Now in the case um, here, you'll see here you have your pillars. That's these right here. You have your roof type. So right now I have a flat roof, but you can like go here to you know kind of weird roof. Um, I'm not going to do like a hip roof. I'm going to keep it flat. I also created a little lip. That's this height and this curb size, and the offset. And then the base texture is actually. A different kind of texture for here. I'm going to keep it at the original texture, uh, and and that's true of all this. You, you you're you're affecting the roof. All this stuff affects the roof. Uh, obviously, if there's no windows in the roof, it won't affect it. Ground floor is going to affect you know the um, the height and all that. And this is known as a parametric modeler because you you are you're affecting it um, parametrically. So ground floor, the tile height. So if I was to make it bigger, you can see how it goes up. Smaller would make it kind of weird. So we'll go, and, and you can just type here. I had it at 500 before, so I'm just going to do that, and it goes back to normal. Notice this is bakery. That's why I call it bakery. By the way, you can change these. Your bakery is right here, so you can actually, um, and in here you can actually name this whatever you want. So I'm going to call this uh, new bakery. Two. Oh, actually, it was, excuse me, that was loading it in. If you click on it, it loads it in. So there you go. There's your new one. Anyway, I'm leaving it alone because it, it makes a very nice, very tight texture atlas. Sorry. Um, you can always load this into like Photoshop or whatever and make these little changes, and, and you're good to go. You'll notice here. You'll notice as I zoom in. This is like for Phoenix Sportswear. Name of the company is Pro Phoenix. That's why it says that. And Bakery. And you can change all this. You can change all these textures in Photoshop. Same with the doors and all that if you wanted to. All these things can be changed. Um, I'm, I'm just going to leave everything alone for now. Just because I want to show you how to do this. So anyway, so this is your first floor. Your, inter your in between floors. Int floor means these floors here. All the in between floors. And then your last floor is the one up here. Okay, your roof and your roof floor. So if I was to say on the last floor, 
like that you can see you can see how much it went up in fact that's actually kind of cool I'm gonna keep that I'm gonna make a little bit of a lip there because that's kind of cool all right um also some buildings have like fire escapes with stairs and you know like I said I created this balcony so what I did was so that that's all your just your general if you mouse over you'll see it says walls here is just your general building okay now you go to your walls and you'll see it says front right back and left so if I want to let's say I want to make balconies on the right and left so right and I'm gonna to go to uh, balcony height let me see sometimes you have to play with this uh, okay, okay first floor um, actually you want base that's what you want so ground floor there you go ground floor pillar width I'm just playing with this right now um, door height balcony height there we go so now we have a balcony and we won't we won't make it very tall and you you can click to make different kinds of balconies all right all right so if I want to make those the same height It's roughly about the same height. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the right side. I'm gonna go up here to I mean to the left side. So I'm gonna go over here to balcony height. There you go. Now I'm just gonna put balcony height all the way. All right. And so now I've made these these balconies. It's kind of a weird looking building, but it, it does show the point. Um, you'll see here I had a little overhang I made. All right, so now that I've finished really messing with this building, and you can go kind of crazy, you see first floor and window balcony, and it's every floor, every, you know, the internal, and then of course you're one at the top. So once you're done with all of that, and you're, you're done, let's save it. All right, so I'm, I'm saving it. Now, that's not exporting it. That's just saving it. All right, so now if you go here to Project, and you'll, you'll see here that I have this USA Building one here. What did I call this one? I call this one New uh, Sigourner Buildings. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I call it new new bag new bakery. Let me see if it's under ends for new bakery. Oh, there it is. Nice bakery. No, no, I called it new bakery. That's where I called it new bakery. Maybe I called it nice bakery. But anyway, either way, you'd see the building. So it's not in here. So it's probably in the root. It's probably this building. It's one right. It's this one right here. Because you can see the little side thing I made there. But that's just the safe building. That's not the actual export. So now we're going to export it. And when you export it, you export it to an OBJ. So to do that, you're gonna to go to you're gonna go back to the gear and you're gonna to go to export. Okay? And now you're gonna choose a place to put it. I'm gonna put an easy game sample buildings. And I'm gonna call this new bakery. And now it's gonna save the the OBJ file and your texture atlases, which includes all your PBR textures. Okay? And in a moment I'm gonna show you the folder. With everything in it. Remember, I called it New Bakery. It's writing the normals. It's writing every every texture. Alrighty. Still going. Still going. Takes a little bit of time, but it doesn't take too long.
Okay, now I finally finished. So now I'm going to minimize this, and I'm going to bring in the um, the buildings. Okay, and let's go to New Bakery. So you'll see here, I have my New Bakery OBJ file and the MTL file it produces, and then I have my diffuse, my emissive, my height, my metalness, my normal map, my um, AO map, and specular and whatever the heck R is. Not sure what R is. Um, it's not specular. It's not, hmm, not sure what R is. But anyway, but these are all your PBR textures right here. So it's pretty nice. They're all right there. So now we're going to go into UU3D. And this is the previous one I had. So I'm actually going to exit out because I kind of got all my stuff. And let me go over to my game dev. Let's run Ultimate Unwrap. All right. And now we're going to. Open up new uh, new bakery right there. It's not very big; it's only about a meg. Okay, I'm going to preserve vertex normals, and there you go. And what I love about it is it's already textured. I really don't have to do anything. All right, and if you go here to your to your materials, there's your base building texture. Okay, and let's see out of that. Let's see if there's the bump or anything else. Go to maps. Right now, the bump and the diffuse are. Um, we can even put the speculum if we want to, but but since Game Guru isn't even going to like bother, we don't have to. So right now we're pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to save as, and we're going to save it as an X file. Okay, I'm going to save it right in the same directory. Okay. And I'm just the biggest thing I'm gonna do is use the full top file texture back. Other than that, I'm just gonna leave it alone. All right, and that's it. It is now saved as an X file, ready for inclusion in Game Guru. In the next video, I'll bring it into Game Guru.